The first after weeks of waiting, the great American eclipse is now just days away. And meteorologist Robert Spetta is in western New York, where it's safe to stay to stare directly at the eclipse. But he sat down with optometrists to hear why it just isn't that case for the people outside of the totality path. It is cloudy and snowing here in the path of totality in western New York. But by the time Monday comes around, the sky is going to be clearing out. And for a solid three minutes, it'll be safe to look directly at the sun. But outside of that specific time frame in the path of totality, it could be very dangerous. Depending on where you're viewing it, if you're not in the line of totality like here in Jacksonville, we will have risk the whole time because there's going to be sun still peeking around. So at no time is it safe to take the glasses off and look. That's Kimberly Riordan, an optometrist in Jacksonville. And she discussed with me that even if you look at the sun for just a few seconds, it can have some lasting impacts. What people don't realize is those wavelengths from the sun can actually penetrate all the way through our cornea, through our natural lenses to the retina. And that's what we're concerned about because those rays can actually penetrate into the retinal tissue and essentially burn the retina. We can get permanent damage to those really vital cells in what we call our macula. Our macula is what gives us our nice central clear vision. So if we stare into the sun, we risk permanent damage to those cells that we don't currently have a way to treat. People think, well, I've got really expensive sunglasses or polarized lenses. Regular sunglasses won't cut it when looking at the sun or viewing an eclipse. So have your solar viewing glasses ready to go to enjoy this natural spectacle. I'm First Coast News meteorologist Robert Spetta on your side. Robert, thank you so much. Well, here's how schools in our area are preparing for Monday's eclipse. In Duval County Public Schools, all outdoor activities between 1 and 4.30 in the afternoon will be moved inside. This includes physical education, recess, practice, aftercare programs. The Duval County Public School District say that anyone who keeps their child at home that day will also have an excused absence. They do say that you may also take your child out of school early before the eclipse begins. And in Nassau County, classes are set to continue as normal on Monday. The district say that kids who are checked out afternoon will have an excused absence with a parent note. All after school activities will also be continued as planned. And in St. John's County Public Schools say they will not have any eclipse viewing activities. According to the district, students who stay home that day are taken out of, or taken out of school will also be excused. You know who 